Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to my kitchen. My name is John of cookingwithjohngruber.com, and I just want to say today we are going to be making an ultimate peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And you're probably saying, John, I know how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. My response to that is going to be, you're right. You know half of the steps to get there. That's great. So the first thing you need for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is what? Bread, right? So bam, bread. Okay, the next thing is your favorite peanut butter. Now I like the chunky peanut butter the best. Now, and I'm just gonna put it on one side. If you are making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, usually you do peanut butter on both sides or at least a thin layer so then the jelly doesn't run through. But wow, that's really chunky. How much peanuts are in this chunky peanut butter? Wasn't that like a slogan at one point? Anyway, so all right, so I've got my crunchy peanut butter. Mm, that's that's pretty easy. And then you take your favorite jelly. Okay, so I'm not necessarily using my favorite jelly, but I'm using one that I appreciate as an adult, which is grape jelly. I never had this growing up in my household as a child. There was no grape jelly. It was strawberry, apricot preserves, marmalade, apple. There was nothing like grape jelly for this particular recipe. So put on some grape jelly. Wow, this is some thick stuff. And all right, so that looks like more than enough. Get off there, get off there. And spread it around. So there's a couple different songs about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and one of them's like peanut butter jelly time, which I'm sure you know, and you're probably singing now that I mentioned it. And something about a baseball bat. I don't I quite understand that. And push them together to die your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now there's one more step to my ultimate peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and that is to go over to the stove Put in just a little bit of butter on the bottom of the pan and grill this up like you would a grilled cheese, but it's a peanut butter sandwich. So let's head over there and I will show you what I'm going to do to make this the best ultimate ooey gooey peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It is like takes your peanut butter and jelly sandwich that's kind of elevated right here and takes it up, 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 up and off the charts. I'll see you soon. Okay, so here is the moment of truth for the ultimate peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And if you see, it's all ooey and gooey and oh, so hot. Whew. And it's gonna make a mess all over the place, but very delicious and again, it's just another elevated way to enjoy some simple recipe in a gourmet style, if you will, version of itself. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.